Welcome back to Object Oriented Programming. This is part six. We're going to set up your computer for Python programming. I refuse to do a hello world program. It's just stupid and it's only one line. It's not object oriented. So we're going to make a program that blends math, physics, and object-oriented programming. So first get your computer ready. If you're using Linux, Python is already pre-installed. Don't use the latest and greatest Python because <clears throat> many of the libraries and packages are not certified with the latest version. I recommend Python 3.9 right now. Certainly that is good until October 2025. First, go and install Python. If you're using Windows, or heaven forbid, an Apple computer, go to the website listed above. Do not download the one in bright yellow. Go to the active Python releases. Don't complicate yourself and download one version. Again, I suggest 3.9. Now you need to install Kivi. You're not going to be using it yet. This is the software, the software library that will allow your Python to do graphics and graphic user interface applications. It's uh, super simple. Again, don't complicate yourself. Use the package installer that comes with Python. It's called PIP. And the command is right there on the screen. PIP install Kivi equals equals 2.1.0. So go ahead and do that. That's going to take a few minutes. Last thing you need to do is you need to install an integrated development environment. If you're not familiar with these things, it will blow your mind. It's like a word processor, but for programming. It uh, does all your formatting and keeps track of stupid little things that would drive you wild if you didn't have one. If you are a real masochist, go ahead and download the Microsoft Visual Studio. It's something like five gigabytes um, and it's not available for Linux and it's a piece of junk. Use Eclipse, you'll thank me later. I've been using it for 15 years or so doesn't require a supercomputer and it doesn't take up something like 50 gigabytes which is what Visual Studio takes up just to do a bad job. So go to the website listed above, download either one of those two packages and go ahead and install it. That's going to take a while. Now you need to install the Python stuff for Eclipse. So open Eclipse in the top menu, go to Help Eclipse Marketplace. It's going to say find, type P-Y-D-E-V or PyDev as in Python development. Again, you'll thank me later. Click on install, that's going to take a little while. Restart Eclipse, that's going to take a little while. Now the Eclipse IDE has about a thousand bazillion gazillion options and preferences. So let's pick some again after using this for 15 years. Um, I can at least get you started. Once Eclipse restarts in the top menu, find window, then find preferences. Search for PyDev on the left column. It should be right there underneath oomph. Now, under PyDev Editor Auto Imports, go ahead, say yes, do auto imports. Then, under PyDev Editor Code Style Code Formatter, try the options that I have here on your screen. Next, go to PyDev Editor Mark Occurrences, try the options I have listed for you. PyDev Editor, Save Actions. Again, try the options I've listed for you. And lastly, PyDevEditor.tabs. 
that would be the end of your setup. Go ahead, take a few minutes, look around. Eclipse is very, 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 very powerful. It's going to take a lot of practice to learn all of the crazy little bells and whistles that it, have, but, that it has, but you don't really need those right now. It's going to uh, take some practice, so just, just live with that. PyDev is amazingly well done. It's a great piece of software, and it's going to save you a ton of frustration all the way from day one. So enjoy that. Obviously, this is going to take a few minutes to do, but um, whenever you're done, come back and let's go to part seven, where we actually do a real program.